I think it's fair to say that 2023 has been the most explosive year for the adoption of AI technologies. Now, this trend is only going to continue as years progress, but many e-commerce companies are kind of unsure about how they should be using AI for their business. So I thought I would just walk through some of the most common use cases today, and then we can talk about uh, an application that we developed to help you implement them. So how to use AI for e-commerce? Well, the main use cases are content creation, data analysis, customer service chatbots, and personalized product recommendations. Now, uh, on the latter two, the chatbots and the product recommendations, both of those are oftentimes kind of interlinked, but you can have a little chat window that's totally powered by AI added to your e-commerce website, and it can handle you know 80% of your customer service uh, complaints and questions. So definitely something to look into. But for this video, I'm gonna focus on the first two that I mentioned, content creation and data analysis. So let's first zero in on my favorite of these, which is content creation. AI can be used to create product descriptions, emails, and blog posts for your e-commerce brands. Now my favorite of these is SEO blogging. You can use AI to streamline this process. It's super cool. And I'll actually show you how to do that later on in this video. But for all three of these, the concept is similar. You're going to engineer a prompt, giving the AI tons of context and ask it to draft one of these three types of content for your brand. And if you haven't tried this yet, I think you'll be pretty amazed with the results that the AI is able to spit back at you. I'm gonna show you a demo of how this works uh, later on in the video. All right, and number two is data analysis. Now, this is actually pretty simple. All you're gonna do is feed your e-commerce company's data to a generative AI tool, and you're gonna ask it questions for quick insights and recommendations. So think about training an AI on your sales, customers, orders, products, expenses, etc. It can actually synthesize your data, summarize it, and give you recommendations. Most e-commerce companies are not even aware of this use case, but it's pretty powerful. All right, so rather than sit around talking about AI all day in a PowerPoint, I thought I would show you AI in action using my Shopify app called Boardroom. So I'll switch tabs here and you can see that I'm logged in to a Boardroom account. Boardroom is an analytics and content creation tool, which is integrated with AI technology. So taking a look at the screen here, first of all, Boardroom lets you integrate multiple Shopify stores if you have them, which is why you see this sales channel breakdown. We run analytics on all of the data in your store for things like inventory, advertising analytics, and products. By the way, we do let you integrate your advertising accounts as well. And we're calculating profit-based metrics and all sorts of fun things like that. On the data an analysis side of the AI integration that I mentioned, you just click this AI Insights button, click Analyze Data, tell it to analyze the data over the past one, three, or six months, and the AI is going to then start constructing an analysis of all the data in your Shopify store. So this is pretty awesome. Just wait till you see what type of information that it's able to spit back out at you. Boom, here we go. So you can see it's giving me a summary of my metrics across, across five key metrics. It gives me an explanation for what might be going on in my company as these numbers are trending in different directions over time and it gives me five key recommendations that I can put into place today to start acting on this data and make positive changes at my business. So again, pretty awesome tool here. We're still developing this. We're gonna be adding more interactive chat-like features into this tool as well. So stay tuned for more updates about that. Now, if I close this out, let's talk about that second, or actually it was the first use case that I mentioned earlier, which was content creation. So in Boardroom, we've created quick links for you to easily create blog posts, product descriptions, or emails using our AI integration. For all three of them, it's gonna work in a pretty similar fashion. Let's click the product description example here. All you have to do is type in a short description of your product. Let's say you were selling a weighted blanket. <laughs> and you can enter in some other information, the more the better, like your brand name, your target audience, key features that you want the AI to mention, and what tone it should use. I'm just going to say in this little additional instruction box, limit to 50 words for the sake of the demo. I click generate here, and usually it takes about five or 10 seconds. Boom, there we go. We get a little product description that's been created for you. Pause it, read it. I guarantee it's awesome. 
but we give you an editor so that you can update this, add formatting, images, make it perfect, and then publish it to you, a product on your Shopify store with a single click. Pretty awesome, right? That's the product description use case. But remember, we also have emails and blog posts. I'm gonna focus in on the SEO blogging feature because this is my favorite one. So on the left side of the screen, I've got blog posts that I've previously created using this tool. On the right side, I've got another short little form that I have to fill out. So let's say I wanted to write an article about my weighted blanket. So I could fill out this entire form. I definitely wanna put in the primary keyword that I'm trying to rank for for SEO purposes, let's say I'm selling this product, it would be awesome if I could really rank on the first page for the weighted blanket search term. Let's say I want a 500 word article, I want a witty tone, and I'm gonna say, uh, you know, link to my website at this link. You know, you could put your product page in here, for example, click generate. And this is gonna take about 30 seconds to a minute, so I might just skip the video forward here so you don't have to stare at my face this entire time. All right, we've got a new blog post that's been drafted and it's available here on the left side of the screen. I can see that uh, the blog post is probably pretty good as is, but again, we give you an editor here in Borders. So you can update this, add personalized information about your brand into this post, but we don't stop there. On the right side of the screen, we also give you an SEO score for this post that's been generated plus a bunch of helpful tips to help you optimize this post for search engines to give you the best chance of ranking and getting organic traffic for your brand. So you can see here, I've got some tips related to the meta description and adding images to this page and stuffing my keyword into the alt image tag and the image name, all great stuff that you, know, you wanna make sure that you're keeping top of mind if you're trying to get organic traffic for your brand. So again, once you update this, satisfy the tips, get that SEO score up to 100, you're gonna to wanna to just publish this directly to your Shopify store, click that button, and boom, successfully published. So I think you're probably getting a picture here that I'm painting here, which is that Boardroom takes two of the most beneficial AI use cases, data analysis and content creation, and it streamlines them into a simple to use interface that you can sign up for and try for free for two weeks. So head over to the Shopify app store and type in Boardroom, or head to our website, which I'll link to the description of this video, and you can learn more about this app. Thanks for watching.